Mohamed Sani, a 13-year-old boy, caught the attention of the world when he constructed the replica of the new Maiduguri using sticks and mud. He is now placed on full scholarship in one private school by the Borneo State Government. Guru C. Beatrice has been monitoring the development. He meets the boy to find out the inspiration behind his creativity. The report. This is the Maiduguri City flyover first of its kind in Borno State. Its beauty inspired 13-year-old Musa Sani to build a replica of the bridge with mud, cement, paint, and sticks. His parents said Musa has been making wonderful art right from age five. He loves art, passion for sculpting, and have a dream of becoming a civil engineer someday. <laughs> When I see something beautiful, I mold it. Like when my mom took me out, we passed the customs flyover. I loved the view. So I went on my own one day, took a critical look of it, then came home and looked for materials to mold it. I wish I could have a big space where I can design lots of things, have a house of our own and don't walk to school every day. His mother said his talent amazed her and the family. She said he'd never learned designing from school nor textbooks, but does it with passion and accuracy, adding that it is her hope to support him to do more amazing things in the future. <laughs> He has been designing since at the age of five. When I noticed the beautiful work, I started buying materials for him. But when he does it, children destroys it. So he keeps it close to his bed. I wish we have the means to get a big house where there's open field so he can continue molding things. I know he's going to become someone in future. And I pray for God's intervention so I can take care of him and my other children. Like every child, Musa hope one day he will be able to build a house for his parents and a huge company that can support other children's creativity. But for now, he is focusing on the education that will pave way for him to achieve his dreams.